So this here is our raw material. This is what we use to make our fuel. So when you think about fuel, usually most of the time there's firewood, there's forests that need to be cut. So we don't do that. The waste that you're seeing here comes from farmers and it comes from after they have harvested their food harvest. There's these fibers that are left in the field and they're usually such a nuisance to the farmers. So what we do here in our factory, we then do the rest of the processes, which entails taking this and mixing it with other substances and uh, refining it into the fuel. The reason why we call our fuel life-saving fuel is because with our fuel, mothers no longer have to inhale smoke. They no longer have to suffer from the respiratory diseases, you know, even their young ones no longer have to st struggle with inhaling that smoke. So she's about ensuring that there's gender empowerment, that women's lives are transformed, that society in itself is transformed by ensuring that we are protecting the resources that we have. She's not just building a business to make money. It's not about money for her. It's about changing lives. It's about ensuring that she has impact in society. And very few people are genuine about that. I've been so privileged to travel around the world and to see different contexts and how different people live. And one thing has become very clear, that as Africans, if we do not take charge to solving our own challenges here, nobody's going to do it for us.